Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, Shelly's Millions. I know a lot of you are concerned because you weren't able to list your work searches when you were certifying for benefits today. And others of you, mostly on PUA unemployment claims, are seeing a new screen. So first, if you weren't asked to list your work searches, that's great. And that's because in the EDD news release dated June 9th, this is what they said. In the weeks following July 11th, 2021, the department will begin mailing individual notices to claimants in phases, informing them of their specific individual work search requirements that apply to their claim. Those collecting benefits on a regular unemployment insurance or extension claim will receive notices first. Notices will then start being mailed out the week of July 25th to those collecting pandemic unemployment assistance, PUA, and federal state extended duration FedEd benefits. The requirements to search for work and the potential to be found ineligible for benefits for a failure to search begins when claimants get these individualized notices by mail with the specific work search requirements. The precise work search requirements for an individual claimant depend on state and federal law and the type of claim the person is on. And to my knowledge, the EDD has not sent out those letters, and it does specifically say that those will arrive by mail. And judging by this new screen that some PUA unemployment claimants received, we may never actually have to list the places that we looked for work. The EDD themselves have only said that they suggest that you keep record of your work search activities. You could keep record of your work search activities in something like a notebook. And I know Jenny Silver is recommending taking screenshots of your work search activities. The new screen that some PUA unemployment claims are starting to see, and that I suspect all the claims will start to see, comes after they enter yes to did you look for work, and then it says this. Note, entering work search records on this screen is optional unless you are collecting benefits on a federal state extended duration FedEd claim. Do you want to save your work search information to your UI Online account? If you prefer not to enter your work search information for this week, select Next. And your options are, no, I will record my work search information in a different way. And that different way could be in a notebook or by screenshotting your work search activities. The other option you can select is yes, I choose to save my work search information to my UI Online account. And if you select that option, it most likely will bring up the screen where you're going to enter where you applied, how you applied, like online, in person, via phone. Then it would ask you where or the name of a person. If you apply online, you only need to enter the website where you applied or where you looked for work, and then you need to list the outcome. And oftentimes, if you're looking online, that outcome is either going to be not hiring or no response from employer. So it is pretty easy, even if you want to list the places that you applied online on your UI Online account. There's no need to worry if you didn't receive that new screen yet. I do suspect that will be for all claims and not just PUA unemployment claims because they do reference another type of claim in that screen, which is FedEd claims. And FedEd and PUA are very different. It just seems to be that for some reason, PUA unemployment claims started to see that message first. And I don't believe it's even all of the PUA unemployment claims that got that. If you are going to keep track of your work search activities in something like a notebook, these are my recommendations that you keep track of the date, the activity, and the outcome. I listed three examples. I listed them all on Saturday, July 17th. Again, these are just examples, but for example, you could list date, Saturday 717, activity, let my friend Jenny know that I'm looking for work. Outcome. She said she'd let me know if she hears of any jobs I'd be great at. Um, excuse my handwriting, but I did just want to show you guys an example. 
If you're only documenting by notebook, again, the things that I would include are the date, the activity, and the outcome, just in case the EDD ever asks you for that information. Lastly, if you're pending after certifying, I would give it 72 hours to see if the issue clears up on its own. If it doesn't, you could still be part of that quarterly review, and if so, you do need to call to get that cleared up, but almost any level rep, anybody who answers the phone should be able to help you with that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Shelly's Millions. I'll see you next time.